Hi guys, Karen here with another video. Welcome back to our channel and thank you so much for watching. So today I have a very simple recipe for you guys and I will be using the Le Creuset two and one fourth quart saucepan in the color Cerise. Let's give a round of applause for this beautiful color. Yay! Okay, moving on. <laughs> I am going to use the saucepan today to make a very, very simple teriyaki sauce. So today um, it's Labor Day, Monday, Labor Day, and I am making uh, just a simple stir fry for everyone. And I'm going to use tofu. I've already cooked it. So I just, I decided to make um, a teriyaki sauce. So I thought I would show you guys that while I use my handy dandy two and one fourth saucepan. Really simple, all you're going to need is a cup of water, five teaspoons of brown sugar, about one fourth cup of soy sauce, you're going to need one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder and half a teaspoon of ginger powder. You're gonna need a tablespoon of honey, you're gonna need one fourth, don't mind that, you're gonna need one fourth cup of water, again, and you're gonna need two tablespoons of cornstarch. These two together will be your thickening agent. Um, so, really simple. Um, I've already cooked the tofu, and so all I have to do is saute the vegetables and make the rice to go with that, really simple. But I just wanted something simple and easy to do today so that I could enjoy the day with everybody and, and not have a big meal. And it's warm outside. It's about 97 degrees today. So we were looking for something that's a little bit, that's filling, but not too heavy on the stomach. So this is what I came up with. So what do you guys do when it's really hot outside and it's supposed to be getting ready for fall, but it's not quite winding down yet? What are you guys making? So, but anyway, I'm rambling. Let's get into it. So first things first, this is really simple. You're just going to pour in your water. One cup. You're going to add your one fourth cup of soy sauce. You're going to add your garlic and ginger powder. I would use fresh, but today I just want it all broken down in there. You're gonna add your brown sugar. And you're gonna add your honey. What I do to release honey, um, to make sure it all comes out, is I encircle the inside, I encase the inside with a little bit of oil, I just rub it, and then all the honey just slides right out. Little tip there. And then you're going to put this over medium heat until it's all, all the flavors are melded together and it's just moving like one free liquid, that's all. Over medium heat. So let's get that While going. While your sauce is cooking in the pot, um, you're going to add that one fourth cup of water into your container. And I'm gonna add the cornstarch. Cornstarch. And with my whisk, I'm just gonna whisk this together. Guys, this was a really great buy. This glass measuring cup from Target. It's the Magnolia one. Best thing ever. The base is really heavy, so you don't have to worry about it flipping over or anything like that. And the area is wide, so you can really good get a good um, whisking. I mean, you can whisk and you can do whatever. Um, I am not sponsored, but this is a great one. It was $14.95. Every I went to, I had to go to three Targets to find it, and they had it at the third one. Um, yeah. So it's selling out really fast, really great buy if you're able to find it. So our sauce is cooking over here. We're just trying to get all of the flavors to really blend together. It's just about one minute and 
Next up, I'm just trying to make sure all of that brown sugar has dissolved in our seasoning as well. Then we're going to go ahead and add our uh, cornstarch water mixture for thickener. It's going to thicken it up and so you want to keep stirring until it has thickened. Um, this should take about four minutes so just stay on it. You don't want to leave it because you don't want it to burn. Um, Keep it at that medium heat level and just keep stirring, kind of like you're doing grits. <laughs> but I will show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. I've been stirring for about two minutes and this is what it looks like. See how it's starting to thicken up. Just keep stirring. And this is ready to come off the stove. Okay guys, this is what the sauce looks like all completed. Nice and thick. Really good, it smells so good. You hear the vegetables going in the background. This is what the teriyaki sauce looks like when it's mixed with the tofu. So good, so good. And I will show you what it looks like when I mix it with the vegetables as well. And this is what it looks like once I mix it with the veggies. So I'm going to finish up here. I haven't soaked, wash, I haven't washed my rice yet. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys this. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. Sorry, I was tasting the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> and it tastes really good i will see you guys in the next video let me know what you think in the comments below bye guys